everyone had cut these at two, four, six, eight centimetres. So I've cut these at eight centimetres. They're probably a little bit long. So we might cut them down to six. Let's see how we get on. Now I have this little screwdriver and it's got grooves in which is perfect for this kind of wire. And you need that in the middle. And then what you do is you bend that wire and that helps you, it stops it slipping. Just bend it up like that. See if these are almost meeting. Now I can see that one is slightly bigger than the other. That's better. Once I've done that, then I'm going to put it back on there till it almost touches. And then flip it off and put it on the end. And push the two pieces together. And as you can see, they've crossed. See, like that. Now, again, that might need cutting down a bit. But the way to even it out is once you've got a cross there, push your thumb in. And you can roughly see if it's doing the right thing for you. And you need it flat. Like that. Now, I, I do see straight away that that one is a little bit... That's more like it. Like that. So it's a straight bar with a loop. And then what you need to do is these two have to face that way. You can do it right-handed or left-handed. It doesn't, you know, right way or left way. So you take your pliers and right where the join is, just poke your... Bend it upwards so you've got that. And I'm going to do the same again with this one. Take your pliers, right at the very tip, and poke that up like that. And then we can pull that apart. And bend each one back until you've got kind of a ring. So I'm just using my flat plate on the pliers to flatten that down. Like that. I'm going to bend this one back a little bit more. And then join the two together. You can play around with them until you've got it right. Now, I need to bend that in a bit more, like that. Now that's gone like a loop in, instead of it being round. But I'm fine with that. I'm happy with things like that. It doesn't bother me at all. And these still have to be roughly the same length. You don't always get them right. Now, what we're doing is, see we've got that. These two have to go one way. You can turn them that way or you can turn them that way. So I'm going to get the very end and curl it on the smallest section. Curl it down. Like that. So I've got a loop. And we turn that over and we do the same thing again. Now I have cut these two wide. Well I don't actually because I can have it like that. That's fine. It's up to you how you have them. So we've made that loop, like a double loop there. So you do the exact same thing again, only before you bend them, you need to hook it onto there. So I'm going to take this again in the groove, roughly in the middle, bend that up till we've, oh, that's, that's about the same, cross it over. Like that. I just push them in at the bottom like that till it starts the crossover. And then we just flatten them out and we want them roughly the same. Now I cut a fair bit off that one, so I'm going to cut a little bit off this one as well from both ends. Eventually you'll get used to it and you'll be able to just make the size you want, but I'm just showing you for now. 
Again, take your pliers from the very centre, like that. Same on that side. And I pull, I pull mine apart like, well, I try, <laughs> like that. And you can see one's almost bent and the other one's totally straight. But I'm just going to flip this one that's straight down a little bit more. Like that. Now I know that that one wants cutting. That's the same. And this is where you have to try. And what you do is you poke that through completely. Like that. Again. Where that's split in the middle, just take one side, poke it all the way through the loops and loop that on. And then you're going to take one side roll that down and like I say this is called the cotter pin oh sorry in my eye turn that over like that and we can pin that down a little bit more. I curl it down to the spiral, okay? And we do that again. So you need something with a groove in to support, unless you you can, I mean, I can do it on one of these. That would be all right, but I, I like this because it stops it from slipping. So, that's, that's roughly the same. Take that out, pin together like that. Now, this is where you can see that's shorter than that, so I'm going to bend this left one flat. Now they're the same. Stand that up, see like that. Stand that one up, bring them apart. I mean, I suppose I could pop that back on there and do that, which will reshape it. But I can see, look, that's a nicer shape than this one. So this is the one that's going to be bent down so it meets that one. We just pull that back, bend it down, pull it back, pull it together like that. That'll do. And then we can meet push that one in to meet that one. I'm going to make these the same length. Like that. Use the pliers. Roll that down. Like that. Do the same with this one. Obviously, you're going to roll it in the opposite direction if you've turned it over. Like that. I'm just going to roll that one down. Now, what didn't I do? I forgot to thread it through. So, if you forget to do that, you simply unravel it. Like that. And you can sit that one in. Like that. Not a problem. And now you can roll that back into place. And there.
we've made three links up to now and they're really nice i mean obviously if you've got silver you can do it in silver yeah so so i've put the link on like i say you can solder those and then you just have to, um, you can use, oh, I don't know, what have we got? I have some somewhere. No, I've not got, I've not got one. That'll do for now. I'm just going to put that colour on because I don't have the right colour. Um, so, just take a little spare bit of wire. As far around as it can go. And then what we need to do, I, like I say, I haven't got my soldering iron out, but I would need to solder this. So I can make my loop like that. It's not very good, that one. Oh, I can't, I can't grip tonight. My hands are not working. And I can't see what I'm bloody doing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You got it, mate. And you make your link. Solder that. Mine's not perfect. But I can rectify that by... Moving that around. Okay. But then you've got your little charmy thing, your little link. Then you'll make your bracelet. Um I will get some more of these done, the copper ones, and make that into a bracelet. So, you just attach claw onto that on the link. You need to solder that unless your wire is firm enough to hold it. And there you go. You've got yourself quite a nice bracelet. quite nice aren't they i hope that's helpful thanks for watching take care and i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now